management, <coughs> frequency, the whole discography. But in no way did I ever imagine the thrilling ride that I was set up for. That's me when I still had some dark hair. Centeno, uh, the impact that he's had on, on my life and my career, uh, this opportunity to have to help patients, and the impact he's had on the whole field of interventional orthopedics, which uh, he's kind of one of the founding fathers of, has been remarkable. We just appreciate all this hard work and dedication and energy. Uh, it's unmatched by anybody I've seen. I think one of the most proud moments that I felt under Dr. Centeno's tutelage was receiving my fellowship diploma. There's only eight of these fellowship diplomas <laughs> circulating in the world, and he has trained all of us. Those are countless hours of frustration I have caused him, and I appreciate all of that hard work <laughs> to garner this diploma. Dr. Sintan's leadership, he's uh, spent countless hours doing videos, lecturing, as well as instructing myself and all of our other now instructors um, for Iowa. Uh, it's been incredible to see his work ethic has just been inspired us and inspired all of us to continue to build upon his legacy that he's put forth. Hi, Chris. Just wanted to say thanks for everything that you've done. Uh, everybody in this room and, and watching and in the field of regenerative medicine uh, should thank you as well. Uh, you've done a tremendous amount for the field uh, from uh, development of the bone marrow and PRP and blood products for regenerative medicine uh, to defining how to do it, how to diagnose, and actually put it in the right places really advancing the science uh, tremendously. Uh, another huge component of this uh, is, is a you know, fought for the right for the physicians for us to be able to do this. So including your battles with the FDA, I know that must have been uh, not the most enjoyable uh, period of time, but I think that allowed us to do a lot of things and help uh, define the current movement uh, and make sure that patients are protected while doing this uh, phenomenal medicine. So again, just thank you, uh, we owe you a ton again, for creating this organization and ability to uh, continue to move this type of medicine forward. Oh, hey, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and thank you for all you've done for our specialty and for this whole area of orthobiologics and uh, uh, orthopedic uh, interventional uh, uh, techniques. Um, to say that you are the thought leader in this area would be a strong understatement like saying that Steve Jobs was a thought leader in uh, computers or uh, the smartphone. Clearly, like Steve Jobs, you're more than a thought leader. You've been an innovator. You've had a passion in this area. You've created a variety of new techniques and have had a great passion to develop appropriate techniques um, and standards and guidelines, and obviously a uh, developer of the Interventional Orthopedic Foundation, which I am fortunate now to become the incoming president and grab the baton from you and try to fill your big shoes. Um, I've known you for over 10 years and in that time frame, I've been amazed at all the things you've accomplished, all the things that you have been able to publish and log on and discuss, and in fact, create an entire new uh, paradigm in the treatment of orthopedic conditions and develop a brand new specialty area that we can all be part of, interventional orthopedics, and develop this great organization, IOF, which is built upon creating uh, educational standards, guidelines, and ethics in this area that is greatly needed. So congratulations on all you have done. Thank you for getting us into a great spot, and we look forward to having you help us as we move forward. Uh, thank you, Dr. Centeno, on behalf of everybody here at the Interventional Orthopedic Foundation, everybody at the Central Clinic. Uh, thank you so much for all of the hard work, all of your contributions, the videos, the blogs. I've read <laughs> all the blogs, I've seen all the videos, and I've come to every single one of the courses and taught some of the courses, thanks to you. Um, so just a big thank you from everybody. We appreciate you and value you so much. So Chris and his brilliance identified the following. Number one, there was a problem. 
Many people don't even understand there's a problem in the status quo, in the current orthopedic model. He understood there was a problem. But more importantly, he understood the pieces of the puzzle and how to put it all together. So collectively, we've he's demonstrated the problem, how to put the pieces of the puzzle together, and how Respectfully, Netter taught us the different compartments, but how you absolutely have to treat it all as a whole for the best clinical results. And Chris Antenna was magnificent.